What's up guys, Dennis here, and today I'm seeing what's inside this washing machine. So I got a new top loading washing machine that you might be able to see in the background there. And while there's nothing wrong with this front loader, we just don't have any need for it anymore. And it's been sitting in our basement here and it's really heavy. I could maybe muscle it outside, but I was thinking maybe I'll take it apart and bring it outside in pieces. And while I'm taking it apart, I'll see what kind of interesting things are inside that I might be able to salvage for future projects. This isn't the first washing machine I've taken apart. It won't be the last one. There's a ton of videos on YouTube of people making things out of old washing machines. In particular, there's a guy named Jeremy Fielding who uh, is doing some really neat stuff with salvaged parts, how to repurpose some of these uh, motors that aren't so straightforward to wire up. I encourage you guys to go check him out. I don't know him, uh, he doesn't know me, but I've been watching his channel for a while, so I'm gonna put a link down below. And coincidentally, in the past week or so, there's been a bunch of videos about washing machine parts or projects from washing machines. One that was really neat was this guy who disassembled his new washing machine and uh, he found a sensor in there and he took apart the sensor to see how it works. It's an ingenious design. It's a neat piece of engineering at the lowest possible cost possible. So that channel is called bigclive.com and I'll put a link down below in the comments for that one too. Washer Tech Data Sheet. So this might be worth holding on to because it's the wiring diagram and um, that might help us out later. All right, so right off the bat, we got a nice cord here, nice heavy duty appliance cord, three prong of course. Oh, cool. This looks a lot like the sensor in that video that I was talking about. This tube goes down into the drum and there's a diaphragm in here that actually senses the pressure, the air pressure in this tube. And then it'll give a signal out on this blue line. No, wait, that's weird. On this red line, I can kind of see inside there's a coil in there. Gonna wanna keep that guy. in good shape, no cracks. Nothing wrong with that. Ow! Ugh. All right, that's metric. Oh! Yeah. Oh, it's moving. Oh! Come on, baby. It's a induction motor. Isn't it beautiful? So this is a variable speed three phase induction motor for auto washer only. Not sure why it has to be only for washing machines. Look at this. Got a box here. Oh look, what's it say? Duty cycle continuous, nice. It's like a purpose built VFD for the washing machine. Variable frequency drive. This is way more high tech than I thought it would be. All right, so I cut myself, you know what that means. Now it's time to put on the gloves. Okay, I suddenly wanna be much more careful now because now that I know this is a three phase motor with this variable frequency drive thing here, I wanna keep all the wires intact and because I'm probably gonna need this diagram here so that I'll know how to drive this thing a little bit better. Hi. Uh, so sharp. All right. This is another really cool part. This is the lock from the door. So there's some kind of, there's a relay in here and uh, 
Some kind of locking mechanism. That's cool. Might be able to use that for something. Thanks, I will. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I was videotaping this because I don't remember where this wire went. But otherwise, I got this all wired back the way it was. So when I go to use this motor, I should be able to use the wiring diagram to know just how to power this driver to run this motor. It's a neat little spring. Wow. Ow! Here's another neat spring. It's joined together like that. The seal that just gets so nasty. It, oh yeah, oh. In the garbage. All right. This big beefy spring. These are solenoid valves for the water. These might come in handy for something. Got another really big spring. May or may not keep this. This thing and some really cheap hose clamp. Yeah, this is garbage. Oh boy, I still don't know why this is so heavy. It's kind of plastic shell. So like I said, I've taken apart washing machines before, but I think they've all been top loading. So I've seen weights in them before, so I know that's why they're heavy, but I've never done a front loader. So this is a little bit different. Ha! Looks like some kind of piece of NASA space hardware. Once you've removed your lunar lander module from... Yeah. All right, so I had to tip this on its side because there are some connections that you can only get to from the bottom of the washing machine. And there's a little cutout here that makes it convenient to get to when the washer is on its side. Okay. All right, there's one weight. Oh, that is of no use to me. This concrete filled plastic. No. Is it okay? Yeah. This is stainless steel, and it's the perfect piece for my upcoming giant cheese grater video. Actually, I think this will make a pretty cool fire pit for uh, burning my little scraps of wood and for uh, having fires in the backyard. Back here, I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this wheel off, but this bolt just doesn't wanna budge. It's either uh, seized in there or it could have some Loctite or something. Later on, I'm gonna try some heat and uh, the impact wrench again, and maybe I'll be able to get this off. What is... Looks like a little pump at the bottom. I don't know why I'm surprised. I'm actually expecting uh, a valve down there, but the water has to get pumped out, so duh. So that's cool. Here's a little 120 volt pump. That might be useful for something. All right, so I'm actually gonna put this mostly back together because I wanna get rid of this. <laughs> Parts that I'm not interested in, I'm gonna throw back in here and have it picked up on junk day. So let's take a look at what we got. Some cool hardware. Uh, there's some heavy duty springs. I've got a whole bunch of these uh, like hot dip galvanized lag screws. Normally I don't save hardware, but they're, they're pretty nice. And uh, I got a lot of them, so they might come in handy. There are some other kind of bolt, a set of solenoid valves, appliance grade power cord. This neat uh, lock for the door. The best score out of this machine, this uh, three phase induction motor, which is a nice little, nice little size here, and this controller. That's definitely really nice. And then over in my sink, I have the drain pump draining. I'm not, it smells like crap, so I'm not gonna, I don't wanna touch it now. And then if you're into it, there's a bunch of little like odds and ends like these, uh, these clamps and, and hoses. And I didn't show you this earlier, but these are like, these are essentially really simple shock absorbers. And then finally, I might save some of these little screws here because I think these are stainless steel. Oh, right. And then this, this is um, this little pressure uh, transducer thing. Bigclive.com and he does a teardown on one of these. So head on over there, I'll put the link in the comments along with the other videos that I uh, mentioned. All right, that's all I got for this time, guys. Uh, stay tuned for upcoming projects where I'm gonna use this stuff. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.
Nice. 